All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're looking at creating paid for videos. How do you rent out a video for a period of time and set that up on your website so it's easy to use and your customers are able to actually rent? Uh, but also we're gonna look at how do you upsell one of the videos to a more premium product instead of just having a rental. Maybe you wanna sell a live webinar or something along those lines. So let's start off by clicking edit site from your dashboard in Wix and then it'll load up your main page. Uh, <clears throat> I just created a blank page here to just demonstrate this functionality, but the first thing we wanna do is add the video elements to the page. So we're gonna do this in a simple way. We're gonna click the add button on the left side menu. We're gonna come down to video music, and in the Wix video uh, applications, what we wanna do, or widgets rather, we wanna grab a grid. And the reason we're gonna do a grid is because we have more than one video um, that we wanna sell and we wanna keep it pretty uniform. We want that when somebody visits the site on mobile or on uh, the desktop, it's already pretty well formatted. So click, drag and drop the grid video element. And you're gonna see a lot of stuff on this page and it's kinda of looking like it's a little bit disorganized. Click on the widget, drag it down a little bit uh, I think it went a little bit too high. Click, click this drag button because this actually stops when it gets to the header instead of dragging like this. Again, make sure you're using that drag button. Okay, now from here, we're gonna click manage videos. And I'm supposing now you already uploaded a few videos to your site. If you haven't, what you'll have to do is just click the add videos and upload them from your computers, uh, from your computer from the very first screen that loads here. Well, fortunately, I've got three already uh, that are uploaded, so let's go ahead and select the three once I've got them loaded. And um, all I did was just highlighted them, uh, and then we should be good. Yeah, so you just select them, and they load. Okay, now we've got the videos loaded. So what we want to do now is customize the pricing for each of the videos. So let's click back on Manage Video. And from this page that loads, we're gonna click the edit video info button. And right here, we can change the title. For instance, we call this video one, published by Dekinesh, uh, or DK Web Design, whatever you wanna do. You can categorize the videos. If you have a lot of, if you have a big library of videos, you may wanna have a couple of different uh, categorizations to them based on topics or themes. Uh, we don't have any categories now, so I'm not going to worry about it. You can actually customize the cover image. So you create a cool thumbnail for that video. Maybe it's uh, something captivating like you would do on YouTube, for instance. Uh, create a theme to it or just use the default that loads with the video. Description is important. So the description is going to appear below the video. And we want to write something about what people are going to be watching. So this might be description about the first video you um, you can now learn all my secrets you know something cool like that <laughs> uh, action cards we're going to talk about that here in a minute for the upsell now channel pricing we want to make the channel either free or paid now of course um, of course we want to make this in this case because we're demonstrating the the paid version, you can actually have a price to download the video straight up, or you can rent it. And let's rent it for you know $500, and it's available for 24, 48, or 72 hours. So they can rent this video, 500 is a lot to rent, so maybe let's say $25, and they get to rent it for three days. Um, you can show a trailer. So if we do a trailer, we can actually have the first 20 seconds of the video available or we can upload something custom for the trailer. More about the video, um, we can put some more details about it if we want, uh, not necessary really. List viewers, uh, let viewers embed this video. We wanna leave that off because if we're renting it, why would we let them embed it? It doesn't really make a lot of sense. Okay, save. And now all you'll do is just repeat this task for each of the videos. Um, you're gonna customize the price, customize the title, the description. And what I wanna show you guys now, the last piece here, let's click edit video. I wanna talk 
briefly about the um, action card. Okay, so what is an action card? Action card is a pop-up that shows up in the video that allows you to sell another product uh, or service. So let's say you made one of your videos free, and, and actually I've already done an action card, I think for one of these, possibly this one. Let's just, let's see if that's the one. Uh, that one's paid. I think I've, uh, well, let's just go ahead and do it from scratch. So let's say this is a free video. Okay, I'm gonna change it from paid to free. Anyone can watch it. Um, let's add a card. <clears throat> All right, this card can either show up on the bottom left or the bottom right. Okay, let's, let's, let's make it the bottom left for now. And the card, we can use it to promote a product, promote a video, uh, feature a channel, we can do a custom action on it, or get uh, followers. For the sake of this demonstration, let's make a promote a product. So the title of it is going to be uh, sign up now for, for um, the premium video. But in text is going to say buy now. And then links to, here we would put the web URL of a landing page. So this landing page could be, um, this could be a landing page to then buy the product specifically. It could be a landing page to book, right? If you've got a premium booking. So you'd create your booking landing page here and then you just do the forward slash booking or, or wherever it is. And actually, I think I've just created a booking page. So I'll show you how this book online, that's the URL. Go back to our editor. Let's just paste that in, book online, save. Oh, and we could put a custom picture on that as well. Uh, and I'll just show you guys briefly that, oh, that worked great. Cool. Um, now the card itself, let's, let's go ahead and edit that card again. Let's upload a picture. So let's say we've got a cool picture for that. Upload, save, boom, picture, sign up for the premium, buy now, there's our card, and let's save. Oh, and it starts at the beginning and ends at the very end of the video. You can customize when, that, when the card shows up. Probably wanna have it for the whole thing especially if you're gonna do kind of a sales pitch with this video, and let's close. All right, and there you have it. Now you got the first video, the second video, and then um, you may wanna change the order here of how these, these things show up. But the, the main, main thing is functioning. Now, the look of this is a little bit squished. I don't really like it, so we're gonna to have to customize the design just a tad. Uh, first thing we'll do is we'll go to the layout, um, I like the grid. I think that's fine. Decide if you want full width or you want to keep it within the margin. Uh, spacing. We want to increase the spacing between the videos and just go to something that looks comfortable. That looks good. Uh, and then if you don't see the bottom of this thing, just drag it up a little bit. Show button on hover. Okay, all that looks good. We're showing three videos in a row. We can make it two or one if you want them stacked. Let's go down to design. So on the design front, this white background, let's say we wanna make it blue, just kind of gives a little bit of pop, right? The text, we can make it, we can make a white, we want that to stand out. Uh, color overlay, doesn't really matter. We can change the alignment to, to center them, we'll keep them on the left. And um, that's really it. And there's a lot of other things you can do on these to, to customize kind of the font style and, uh, or you just keep it aligned to your themes for the website. And once you're done, let's go ahead and preview that, see what that looks like. So notice now when I hover my mouse over each of them, I can rent, rent, or rent. Um, let's go ahead and Let's make sure the one that I'm upselling is, is functioning correctly. Let's go back to our settings. 
So settings, or actually manage videos again. Edit video. I think I forgot to hit save, guys. Uh, but let's go ahead and edit the card. There it is, sign up for now for premium, buy now. Let's save it. Close, right? Save it again. Can't save too many times. That should have worked now. Make sure. Oh, it's maybe it's because it's preview mode, mode, guys. Let's go look at the actual live site. And the URL of this page, let's make sure we got that correct. That's newsletter test, but let's manage the page. Click on the SEO basics. So it's about three. Let's go here, refresh that page. Hmm, still not working. Okay, <clears throat> let's keep on going, guys. All right, 299, we need to edit this. Free. Save. Come on, make it free. Okay, now I think it worked. All right, now we've got the free video. Now we can edit the cards. Now we can bottom right card, save it. All right, all right, I think we're good. Now we're golden, guys. Sorry about that. All right, let's republish. Go to the site, let's go to about three. Check out the video, so there we go. This one's free now. If I click play, it's gonna open up the video player. And there's our- What's link. up everybody, Daniel? So I can click on the link now, and it takes me right to the booking page. Uh, and I can book now for $500. Sorry, service not available. We gotta enable the service a uh, premium option in order to get the bookings to function correctly and we can set in our timeline, get people to schedule into a webinar, could have put a cool image on this, a lot of customizations, change the background, the fonts, etc. cetera. Uh, so that's it really for making paid videos, rental videos, download only, lots of customization options uh, and we can link that upsell product right from a video gallery to a booking online component of the website. Guys, hope this was helpful. Leave me a comment, like, and subscribe to the channel if you guys have any questions. Uh, look forward to hearing from you and I'll see you in the next video.